Hey guys, today we're going to talk about apples some more. I hope you're ready. We're going to talk about how they taste. We have a yellow apple, a red apple, and a green apple to try today. Apples come in three colors, red, yellow, and green. Now they also come in many varieties and there's 2,500 different kinds of varieties of apples grown in, in the U.S. alone. That would mean if we had all the kids from Virginia Williamson and all the kids from Supply and all the kids from Southport together, each one of them could have a different kind of apple to try to tell how we like it. But for today, if you're in um, school, you're only gonna try a red delicious apple, a golden delicious apple, and a Granny Smith apple, which are three of my favorites. So you're gonna have this sheet and you're gonna decide which one you like better. Look, I colored the red apple red. I colored the green apple green. And I colored the yellow apple yellow. And then I had to decide whether I liked it or not. Well, I like every kind of apple, even a crab apple. So I had to put a thumbs up for the red when I tried it, a thumbs up for the green, and a thumbs up for the yellow because I like all three varieties. And then I had to write my sentence. Now, if you're at home, you won't be doing this sheet. You're gonna go straight to your journal sheet, okay? So, in our journal, we're gonna write what kind of apple we like best. And remember, when we're doing a good sentence, we're looking for starting with a capital letter, having spaces in our words, and the sentence making sense and ending with some kind of punctuation. And we're gonna write with a pencil and color with a crayon. So those are things that we're gonna to remember to do each time we write. And my picture needs to match my words because when we're reading our books, we want our pictures to match our words, don't we? When we're reading, so when we're writing, we do as well. So I write my sentence and my sentence says, the red, green, oops, let me try that again. I like red, green, and yellow apples. Now, do I have spaces between each one of my words? I sure do. Do my letters bump the line? Are they nice and neat? They are, and your letters at home need to be nice and neat. So, parents, you need to be making sure that these letters are on the line and that there's spaces in between. And does it make sense? I like red, green, and yellow apples. Well, let's look at my chart that I did in class. I said I liked red, green, and yellow apples. So my writing had to match that, didn't it? But let's look at my coloring. I didn't do a bang up job on this. I gotta fix some things, don't I? Hmm. Well, the red apple, what do I need to do? I need to color it in. Remember, when I'm a doing a good drawing, when I'm a good illustrator, I think make things look nice and neat, and I stay in the lines and do a good job, okay? So I'm gonna go back and fix that. Is it okay to go back and fix things? It sure is. That's what we want you to do, because sometimes we all make mistakes, so we need to go in and fix them. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna fix my apple. And I'm gonna have a red apple because I like red apples. My color needs to match as well. All right, so I fixed that. Then I outlined my green apple with a red crayon by accident. But I went back and I tried to correct it. Should I throw it away? No, I need to keep it. It's okay to make a mistake. We can just try and fix it. The last thing I forgot is very important. I forgot to put my name on my paper. And by the end of this week, guys, we should all know how to write our name correctly on the line on our paper by ourselves without a parent, without a teacher. So I need to fix that, don't I? So I'm gonna fix that now. And if I am writing my name, what do I need to write with? 
I need to write with a pencil, not a crayon, not a marker, not a pen. The only reason I'm writing with a pen on this is so you can see it really well, okay? So you have a brain pop to do today on what you can find out about an apple. And there's an easy quiz at the end. I want you to do that as well if you're at home today. So those are two things you need to do. You need to do your writing and you need to do your brain pop. Have a great day.